Hey guys, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to Geek TV. Today we're going to be taking a look at AzuraCast, which is a free open source self-hosted web radio management suite. If you've been looking for a solution to create playlists and stream them over your network with a beautiful, and I mean beautiful, web UI, check this out. It has a light and dark theme. This is definitely a great solution. You can expose it over the internet using Cloudflare if you wish, but today I won't be doing that. I'll be going over the initial setup using Docker, and I'll be installing this on Proxmox in a container. Here you can see that it uses very little resources. I have only about four and a half gigs, and it's using not even two gigs of RAM. So without further ado, let's jump in and get this set up and running. There's several ways you can install this. Um, I like to install it on Debian Linux flavors because it's just really easy and that's just the way it works because it uses Docker. So I'm gonna cut a lot of this container creation out for Proxmox because I already made that video. So go check it out. That's the link to the video there. If that card's missing, it'll be in the description below. You can check it out there. So moving on. Here on the left side, you can see my terminal. The first thing you always wanna do is make sure you update and upgrade the system. So let's go ahead and do that. And since I'm logged in as root, I don't need to do a sudo. So I'm just going to go apt. And now we want to do an update. Now that we're done updating, we're going to go ahead and start the installation process of AzuraCast. And this is very well laid out in the documentation on their website. I think if this is your first time installing AzuraCast, it's important to do this on a fresh install that doesn't have Docker installed on Ubuntu or whatever you're installing this on because in this process, we will be installing Docker, just so you know going forward. So assuming this is a fresh install for you, let's get started. So. First thing we're going to do is copy this make dir. We're going to make a new directory. Paste it in here. It's going to make a new directory called AzuraCast. Then we're going to CD into that directory. Pretty simple, just copying and pasting. Now we are in that directory. So we're going to go ahead and curl in the Docker sh file. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and chmod that, give it permissions. Now we have permissions, let's go ahead and install Docker. And we hit yes. And it will run the installation process. It may get stuck on this part where it says apt utils is not installed up here at the top, but just don't worry about that, it will continue eventually. So Docker Compose does not appear to be installed. Let's go ahead and say yes to that. Prefer stable release versions, yes, I'm going to say yes to that. Do I want to customize the ports? No, I'm going to go ahead and let it install it on port 80. So I'm going to say no to that. Set up Let's Encrypt? No, I, I can do that later using Cloudflare. And this is where it's going to go ahead and pull down all the Docker images for AzuraCast. It's going to pull down the images and create the containers. This may take a few minutes depending on your internet connection. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and maximize this so we can see exactly what it's doing here. And now it's saying that things are done. It looks like the database is done building. Everything's done as far as the images and containers go. It's looking like it's booting up AzuraCast. It says waiting, and it says we're starting up and ready. So, all right, looks like it's done. Now we're just going to type in IP ADDR, and this will give us the IP of our server so we can find it up in here. It is .40, so 192.168.1.40, and we're gonna open that up. This is the AzuraCast first time setup when you go to that IP address. You'll have to put in an email address and a password to create an administrator account. So go ahead and do that and let's get logged into the admin panel. Now that you're logged in for the first time, you're gonna go ahead and set up your first station, and this is where you're going to do that. I'm gonna set one up called No Copyright Music with No Copyright Music Only. And I gave it a really short website URL, and the stub will be also NCS as well. All of this stuff pretty much works out of the box. You won't need to mess with the broadcasting, the auto DJ, or the administration. You just wanna make sure you tick Enable Public Page so you can listen to it publicly across your network. I also enabled on-demand streaming. So click Save Settings and move on. Now onto the AzuraCast settings, you can see your site base URL, which can change if you decide to expose this, but we're going to be just doing this for network listening only. And we'll just leave this how it is, but the only thing I did was enabled the advanced features because I like to see all that stuff. But however, if you want to expose this, this is where you'll take a look at the security, the privacy, and the services side of it, which can all be changed in the settings later on. So I'll go ahead and click Save Settings, or Changes rather. Now we're on the AzuraCast dashboard and you can see the listeners per station. You can see some, what I guess are some stats or analytics, I guess. Uh, and this stuff will change if you expose it or if you decide to start listening yourself, you'll start seeing the graph populate here. You'll see the station you created in the setup, which is right here. 
and you want to know how to add music. So let's go ahead and take it one step at a time. Go ahead and click on Manage of the station you created. This is where you have complete control over this particular station that you created. You can change the bitrate of the station. You can add music. You can see the public page, the on-demand page, and you can also enable song requests and allow DJs to connect and stream their own music through this particular station. But let's take it one step at a time. Let's go ahead and add music to the station. You don't want to start the server yet, so let's do that after we add the music. And you can do that by clicking on Music Files. This is where you add the music. They make it really easy to add music. You can either do it via FTP, you can drag files into this location here, or manually by clicking this blue button. And that's what I'm going to do here. So click select. Ah, oh, my earballs. So click select file. I'm going to highlight all the music in my no copyright sounds folder, just like this, and click open. And this will upload all of that music to your AzuraCast server. Now that all your music is uploaded, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? You can see some thumbnails here. You see the names, and if you click play, it will play the song on demand. But we want to make sure that this plays automatically like a radio station does. In order to do that, you have to put this music into a playlist. So let's go ahead and do that now. And just so I can get a better view of all the music that I have, because I do have a lot of it, 153 files here, I'm going to go ahead and drop down to all so I can see it all. And I'm going to tick this at the very top so it checks all the music. And we're going to put all of that music into the default playlist. You can mess with this later, but to get this up and running, we're going to go ahead and use the default one. Make sure you click save, and then a big green window is going to pop up and say, look, we just put all this music into a playlist for you. So what do you want to do now? And this is where the magic happens. If you don't have your music in a playlist, you can't use the auto DJ. It requires a playlist. In order to do that, you'll get a bunch of errors. It'll say, there's nothing to play here. It took me a while to figure that out. Now that we've done that, all we have to do is just click start station up here in the left pane and big red button, start the station. And it says here, station has started. So if we go back to the profile page, we can see that a song has started playing. Now, if we go to the public facing page for this station, it should be playing a song. And there it is. It is playing Money on My Mind. Back here on the station management page, you can see that it did populate that song that was playing there. It actually still is playing there. And you can see it counting down. It is live. It plays an auto DJ list, randomly picks all the songs through the list it goes through and shuffles the music just like a real radio station now let's take a look at some more well i don't want to say advanced settings but they are a little more advanced and that is if you want to start listening to music you can do that by going to the public profile page or the public radio station page that we just saw here but to refine this and to make it a little more personal so you can start listening to music you want to listen to like you want to request a song for example you want to make sure song requests are enabled, so you want to go ahead and tick that and then click enable. One other thing you want to do is go into the profile of the station. This is where you can fine tune things for the auto DJ. Say you're listening to music and you want to request a song on the live facing page. These are the settings that correlate with that. A couple important things to note here is request a minimum delay and the auto DJ queue length. This means three songs will play before it gets to your requested song, plus the current song that's playing. It will not cut off the current song, so keep that in mind. I like to change this to one so I can get a faster cue. And also for the minimum delay, I change this to one too. And I believe admin accounts get, re get to request up to five songs before it gives them this delay. So it's not like you'll only get this between one song. You'll get up to five songs, I think. Then it gives you this delay. Then we'll click save here at the bottom. Oh, I almost forgot. Another thing I want to mention is after you make the changes in the auto DJ administration, you want to make sure you click restart to apply the changes. Otherwise, it will not work. So we're going to go ahead and click that now and restart to apply the changes. Then once you go to request songs, those settings will take effect. So even when you do restart your server and you request a song and the song doesn't play right away, don't worry. It might take up to two, maybe even three songs still sometimes. I'm not sure why. I haven't figured that out completely. I've tried diving into the settings and figuring that out, but sometimes it does take a couple extra songs. Sometimes it plays right away after the current song is playing. So keep that in mind. It might take up to two songs because it plays the song that's currently playing. Then it will play one more that's in the queue. Then it will play your song. So keep that in mind moving forward. And that's it.
Back on the public facing page, if you refresh by hitting F5, you'll now see this request song feature. And when you click it, there it is right there. You can see all the songs with the request button next to them. You can browse through, you can make this so you can see all the songs. So you can browse through easier. You can actually search for a song if you want here, if you don't see it, to make things a little quicker. That's what really drew my attention to this application and being able to do a lot of stuff with this, which I can't really cover in today's video because it's already been quite a long video. But there's one more thing I need to show you before I let you go, and that is how to change it to dark theme. And that is pretty simple. Just click those three little dots in the upper right corner and switch theme. And now you're in the dark mode. There's so much more you can do with AzuraCast. You can have people connect to this. You can run a radio station off of this. It's got built-in IceCast, built-in ShoutCast. You can do so much more with this. Even expose this out to the internet so you can make a public radio station if you wish. But for me, it's going to be all internal. I like to listen to music while I'm working and I don't want to have to worry about pressing buttons and trying to shuffle through music and finding more music to play. Why not just set up a playlist here using AzuraCast? It was super easy. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Because if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. I'd love to have you back to watch more videos. Stick around with me, why don't you? Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.